Hello, and welcome back to Aquaria. I'm Breadmaster. And I'm Gibby, now with 50% more stuff. As long as the stuff isn't edible. It's water. Okay. We got more water. We are exploring the Cathedral of Mythos now. Yes. And, uh... Which looks to have a lot of spaghetti in it. It's one of my favorite areas in the game. Sickly red veins ran throughout this ancient cathedral. Yeah, they're supposed to be veins, well, but they, they just look like spaghetti rejoice. noodles Foul to me. Monsters now thrived. The pulsing parts don't look spaghetti-ish. They look like nodules or tumors. Well, yeah. It's a really subtle thing, the pulsing, but it really mm -hmm. adds to the whole... Yeah. Grotesqueness. Creep. Yeah, it is creepy. Though, weirdly enough, these barriers don't pulse. Yeah. They look gross, too. <laughs> they look like cartilage. More like scar tissue. Yeah, that's a, yeah probably. But... Yeah, if you're not a fan of body horror, this, kind, this place probably is a little sickening. Mm-hmm. Because it is just covered in places. Which is why I think of it as spaghetti. You can see, like, statues in the background being uprooted and pushed aside by the flesh. Yeah. And then there's these things that burrow into the wall. Yeah, they're... Yeah. You can pretty much tell by the shelves and such wow. that this is a library. We have... So we have religion. Three shelves worth of the religion. I mean... That's a lot of religion. Oh, I mean, it's a cathedral. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> Just one, one shelf for the world. Well, maybe two... Yeah, that one's not labeled. Huh? Sections. And some of them are missing. So. And then there's art and history. And more history. Another, mother, another history. And then there's this. Which. Eternal live. Live or eternal life, blah. I mean, what is every eternal village life, you want to find? Something. The the differing uh, sizes make it really hard to read. Actually, it's sort of. I think it's intended to be like a scrawl. Like whoever was writing it just started to fall apart at the end. Just where? Like a uh, big area. I mean this. This example I use, I'm going to use is probably something common to a lot of game design. Is uh, Itchy Tasty from uh, Resident Evil. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? No. Uh, there is a... Okay, you know how... You are familiar with Resident Evil and its love of text uh, text journals and such that you can find that explain more about the world, right? Um, a little bit. I have actually never played a Resident Evil game. Well, you're at least so. familiar with the concept of dialogue. In, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. one of the more iconic uh, examples is the Itchy Tasty uh, journal. I forget which game it, you find it in, but it's essentially mm -hmm. written by someone who has been infected and is slowly turning into a zombie, and it just ends with the words Itchy Tasty. Gross. Yep. <laughs> There's some diseased oh, looking man, grass. Yeah, those crabs don't care about the current. They're like, I'm a crab. Yeah, the currents and flesh walls are kind of a theme in this area. Because there are a lot of mm -hmm. tunnels that are one-way currents. Just like living in the city. I'm just going to give that one to you because I don't know how to <laughs> come up with a good quip. <laughs> Fair enough. So, more cooking? No, just oh, eating. Oh, say hello to the Mythons, or at least what's left of them. So these are the first, like... I don't... I Humanoid is the wrong word, but it's the only thing that I think fits. Also, the rock core. That is just a bunch of eyes and flesh. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Now, 
the way to kill it, which I'm... I don't remember when I recorded this, I had to think about it for a second, is to hit all the eyes in quick succession so they're all shooting at once. And I miss one here. Ah. I should have just taken that damage. Yeah. Hindsight, 2020. Although with this guy, he's got what? <laughs> 100 out of 100? He's at least got 1440p. Once you hit all the eyes and get it all lasering, he spins around and then reveals his weak point, which is just another tumor thing. Gross. And then he starts spinning around, and also spitting out these things. You actually Double gross. Yeah, you really want to kill them fast, because if you don't, they start growing bigger and sh uh, start shooting projectiles at you. Aha. Uh -huh. But, uh, the, uh, the... You killed it! Now, how many do you think there are in this level? Oh, man, there's going to be a lot. There's three. Because that, that uh, doorway had three barriers on it, and one of them disappeared when we killed it. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was... Okay. This makes sense. Yeah, those were the Mathons, and you were saying they weren't... They were the first... Hum not humanoid humanoid, but like... You know, they, you know, bipedal with arm limbs. They look like Nyjah. Yeah. And they crawl around on the walls. Well, I wouldn't say Nyjah's human by any chance, but... For the sake of simplicity, humanoid enemies. Yeah. Or at least... Uh... I don't know. Sapient isn't the right word, is it? Nah. I don't think so. They once were sapient, maybe. They... Homo officious? <laughs> Pice... Pisonoid? <laughs> and we grab a couple... Fish peoples. Yeah. We grab a couple cakes here. Uh, the tough cake heals and also increases defense for a while. The poison, the, oh, nice. the rotten cake, which was the other one we picked up, just deals two damage. If you eat it? Yes. Yeah, tough cake is two defense for like 30 seconds. Rotten cake, minus two health. Hmm. Now, you, you might say, why, why would I ever make that? I feel like you're going to be able to throw food at people. No, but you can combine it into another recipe later on. That, oh. that does better things. Got it. There are several several recipes that um, do nothing but hurt you, but they are ingredients into making better recipes that don't hurt you or do something else in addition. Sometimes you just need a little weird spice in your dishes. Yeah. Well, one of these episodes, I'm going to do a cooking episode where I just do a bunch of cooking and show off recipes that I haven't found yet. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's cooking underwater. Uh, I prefer Alton Brown, thank you very much. Eh, teach his own. He's more of a pleasant sounding guy, honestly. Oh no, Cutthroat Kitchen, he was, uh... <laughs> uh yeah, I might, my, my... I'm mostly familiar with Bra Alton Brown from, uh, uh, Dining on Asphalt and Good Eats. Hmm. Well, but we're getting distracted from. Yeah, from what about this all this podcast? spaghetti? <laughs> yes, spaghetti. Also, that is a tiny chamber with a one way current that we can't get to. And of course, there's something down there that we'll have to get later. Yes, which I assume will be getting some sort of a power. Oh, no, no. It's just some, treasure. A way to unlock. It's just treasure. Unlock it. Like we said in earlier episode they're interesting doors yeah I and think the superpowers are our keys <laughs> I think within the next three or four videos we'll be getting uh, the rest of the non optional uh, forms for Nija there is I think there's only one form 
one or two forms that are absolutely non-essential to beat the game, but I'm not certain. You might need all the forms. Um, it's been a while. Should get all the forms. I am going to. I mean, this is a 100% LP. Yes. It, and comparing it to like other games, it is not a difficult game to 100%. That's good. Yeah. There's nothing that um, there's nothing I think that you can miss and then never be able to get back to, which is something that I I find frustrating in other games when they when I feel compelled to do 100%. Yeah. Or where it's like games where you have to play perfectly with this one thing in mind from the very beginning in order to uh, get some special thing. It's like, oh. It's like, well, did you pick up the key on level two that seemed like it wasn't important at all? And it's like, well, no. D or and then you're like, well, you, you messed up. Or uh, There was something... Oh, wait, you didn't play Tales of Symphonia, and neither did I. No. There was, <laughs> but I was roped into playing one of the characters when we were living in the dorm, and, like, the others that were playing were like, we gotta do this fight, and we have to use, uh, what's his face? The main character's uh, starting sword, which is a wooden sword, in order to get mm -hmm. a very specific badge. It's like, but that makes the fight incredibly hard. Why are you doing this to yourselves? because it's there <laughs> and we want to do it. I'm like, you're all crazy. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm always like, well, fair enough. But that's just me. These crabs don't even give us crab meat, which isn't an ingredient. They just give rotten meat, which is not fun. So you're just ignoring the crabs. Well, I think I already have like eight out of eight crab meat. Also, they hide in the, the background pretty well. And when you hit them, they poison you. And we okay. don't have anything that actually can antidote, so. Just have to dodge. <laughs> yeah, we just have to wait it out. Now, the Mytholans... Oh, man, now there's these poison, like, clam things. Yeah, and when a Mytholan hits the poison, it becomes a bloated thing. And we can't kill it when it's bloated. Hmm. But what you can do is pull it out of the way. Aha! Uh -huh. There's, like, eight or nine of these things in this little choke point, so... That's not repetitive at all. It's it teaches you that you can move them. That's true. And it doesn't take that long really. Nigel's just, just alright, swimming around, dragging this frog thing. Honestly, if I was in Nigel's position, I'd be kinda of freaking out because I am moving around what once were people. Yeah. That are now just floating around. S A blank E blank S. Could be anything. Uh huh. Eternal Hitsitus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Heretics. I mean, it is a cathedral. So they have a bad list <laughs> in their. <laughs> in their cathedral. Well, it could be like graffiti at the end of the end, at the end times, you know? Mm. Like the heretics are to blame for everything. But who put in that These type of thought into the unbound. design of it? Because it's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna use just one arm. Yeah. It was a fleeting fantasy. I knew that I would be drawn back to this horrible place again to discover its hidden truths. But perhaps this was not the time to proceed. I had the option to explore elsewhere and return when I was prepared to confront the darkness within. Yeah, so Nigel there is basically telling you, you can't, you don't really understand the context for this message without coming back later in the game. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we almost have enough letters to make sense of it, but not quite. Almost. And it's definitely a place I'm going to hit up on, like, one of the last roundup videos. Mm-hmm. We're going to keep on swimming. All right, here's an inexplicable whirlpool. His wrath. Is that referring to the whirlpool, you think? Eh, yeah, maybe. Probably. It sounds like a wrathful thing to do. Yeah. I'm gonna put a whirlpool right here. In the middle of the cathedral. Uh-huh. So who's he? Now that is the question. Maybe it's a king, like a pope. Uh. Last rock core. Alright. And then we never have to fight another one of these things ever again. Ah, oh, so close. Yeah. I, I I could tell what you were going for there. Yeah. The uh, the Nautilus pet actually got the last hit for the eye. And... The last one. Yeah, I got the last eye for me. Yeah, that's the third form of the spawnlings with the legs. Tadpoles. Yeah. I killed the final rotted core of this wretched cathedral, and tears welled up in my eyes. With every creature I destroyed, mm. every ancient being I put to rest, I felt a part of myself slip away. It was not only uh. that I had caused the destruction, but that I had enjoyed it. I feared this so, nightmare would never Nigel's end. having a, uh, existential a crisis. Perhaps I would never find my family, but there had to be someone. Someone to keep me from the darkness. Yep. And I just like, I'm so alone. Everything I meet wants to kill me. Yeah. That would be very hard to deal with. Because, <laughs> like, you know... Let's be honest. Like, this far into Mythala, or Mythalus, like, you know that there these things were once people. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the whole, like, zombie, you know, morality question. Who's the real monster, Walking Dead style? Kind of. Even though I've never but actually watched that show, so. Uh, my, uh, my answer is still the, the zombies. But, um... This, this area is, this uh... just one huge current. Yeah. We're just zooming through. Not only that, there is uh, branching paths, so if you miss one, it, you'd have to go through the entire cathedral again. Which, I didn't want to do, so that that loop right there, we'll have to come back for. Aha. The next branch, you can actually loop around to. That one, you'd have to go from the very beginning. Yeah, this, this area is no longer cathedral structure, it is just flesh. Yeah. Notice. Ah, this is one of the good, the best recipes of the game, the arcane poultice. It completely heals you. Is it you. poultice? Pol poultice. Pol poultice. Poultice. Pol it's an eye. I... Yeah, I'm not good with words. Me neither, but it completely heals us. The only downside oh, really is good. that it requires a special bulb, which you can only find in those song plants, and one very specific enemy. Huh. Oh. Interesting. And I think maybe one of these times off screen, I'm just gonna farm it just just for the sake of having an easy heal. Yeah. Thankfully, I know which enemy. So just going through all of these circles. Yeah. Ah, oh, a save point. Yep. Glorious. The game is pretty generous about save points and save slots, which I like. Yeah, that is good. Now this right here is a shortcut. 
shortcut to where? Before you enter the cathedral, this is where we picked uh-huh. up the, the crest that we put on the throne. What I didn't yeah. realize when recording, do, do you know what I what I realized in about five seconds? That you have to go through all that stuff again? It's a one-way shortcut. Yeah. And this is the exact moment. <laughs> and so what is actually quicker is to quit and load at that save point that I just hit. Makes sense. Yep. I edited that out, so you didn't have to. Yeah, I can tell. That was good. That's kind of funny, though. So unfortunate. Eh. I can almost hear you go, what? what's going on? It was more of a groan, but eh. Set packs in this game aren't, like... That bad. Yeah. It's... It's not a hard game, really. There's another Arcane Pulches, which is nice. All these tiny little things that are just like, yep, we're just floating along. I don't even know if they can hurt you. Although the Nautilus pet seems to like killing them for some reason. I don't even know if they drop anything. They're the white... They're the white blood cells of this giant fleshy mass. <laughs> that would be gross. That sounds like final level territory for any other game. Like, oh, you're inside the creature that's the final boss. Yes. Now, beware of Osmosis Jones. <laughs> that's a pull. <laughs> yeah, I just dated myself. Oh, man. This is the god of the Mythalans. He also is very hungry. Which is why he... Just eat you? Yeah. <laughs> now, him eating us is not good. But what's not good for him is eating one of his own people. Oh, no. He gave him an... Ex- A corpse. Like... Bloated corpse Mythalan. Gross. That's the only way we can deal damage at this point. Yeah. But we don't have any more. How do we get more Mythalans, Tony? I mean, Gibby. <laughs> he spit, Smooth. He spits them out. Oh, nasty. So you have to bring them into the back to... And then wait for him to eat them. That's pretty, pretty harsh. Yep. Just, all right, we're going to feed you to your god. To kill your god. Yep. It's like, at at what point is it like just pure sacrilege? (laughs) The music that's playing right now... um... Mm-hmm. It's all on the same track. It is kind of weird. Like, it's three phases of the fight and three different music tracks, but they're all in the same file. Interesting. And this is true for the, the OST as well. It's all the same. Um, also, if you stay too long in that hollow, he'll reach for you. The danger hollow. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's kind of, you know, rinse and repeat. Yep. And wait for him to... Moonwalk back to feeding position. Yeah. Now, at this point, we can deal damage with the energy shots. But also, he does this. Oh, man. And I find it hard to dodge. Yeah, I imagine. And the thing about shield, it does not work for these projectiles. But he, like, has no eye now. (laughs) Yeah, you would think that after, you know, being poisoned by... It would, you know, learn. Be like, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't eat everything. I think it's just, at this point, all that's left is hunger. Yeah. Shh, 
cutscene time. Yay! We go into the light. Thales, as it once was. That one dude, he's like ripped, but he has a really big head. And watched over by a royal family. They were all children of a god named Mithala. The Mithalans immortalized their god's noble visage in stone and built many statues honoring him throughout Aquaria. For hundreds of years, the city of Mithala stood strong, providing its inhabitants with long, fulfilling lives. If only the vision had ended there. If yeah, only Mythalus ever looks Mythalus a lot better than that. Mm -hmm. With the comforts and safety of the city came a new calling, eternal life. Because that's the, uh, who acted as Mythala's mouthpiece saw the coming the clear, of the greater uh, God. Escalation point. Who had designed and given life to each of the gods. A creator that would eventually destroy their entire race, as he had so many others. The priests delved deeper into the hidden secrets of the verse to escape the bonds of mortality, but the powerful magic they discovered came with a high cost. They bound Mithala in chains and began drawing out his life force to power their song. They executed heretics one by one, Forcing Mithala to feast upon his own children. I'm no wonder Mithala is like to trying to die. His mind sank into the simple, dull anger of the beast. Eventually, he stopped shedding tears as he ate. The hunger had consumed him. The rot inside Mithala's heart grew. His body became bloated and deformed. His flesh began to spread throughout the city, polluting the waters. Gross. Drask, the prince of the Mithalans, had seen his family die at the hands of the priests and their mutated disciples. He confronted the priests, and though he could not prevent their escape, he did discover their secrets. I wondered if he still lived somewhere beyond this world. Yeah, going for eternal life the does not seem like a fade. good plan. Never. Mithala's spirit mm -hmm. was departing. For the first time, I tried to reach out, to communicate. Oh, great Mithala, I need your help. Liza, I am dying now. It is my time to rest. You have suffered so much, but I must ask a favor of you. Speak quickly, little one, for I do not have much longer. Who, who am I? You are the child of the Thirteenth. You are the one who will unite the waters of Aquaria. You will restore the balance of nature, and you will find love, Naja. You have so much to see, and you will become so much. There will be great pain, but I have faith that you will triumph in the end. Take heart, little one. Thank you. It is growing cold now. You have freed my spirit at last. Now, Little Naja, take my form and journey to the land of the light. Ah, new form. Mm hmm So that's pretty comforting. I mean, getting, you know, a direct message from God. A God. Saying, all right, beast form, my you're, uh, okay, a God, yeah, that's true. Through powerful currents, and my Not the first God we've killed. Proved invaluable yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. 
least but for the one who's like, oh, you're gonna find love, you're gonna unite everything. Yeah, this is a lot of responsibility, but you know, you're a protagonist. <laughs> You are the main character. So beast form uh, has two major things. The first one is you can swim up currents. Yes, very useful. And so we have a key to all those current doors. Yep. Also, when you dash, you have a bite attack. Oh, nice. And this is at the beginning, before the cathedral. Yeah. So when you boost at enemies, which can be kind of difficult. <laughs> As demonstrated. You can eat them. Oh, man. That's crazy. I don't usually use this as, like, a, a main combat tactic. Energy form mm -hmm. is so much better for that. But the thing about beast form is that when you eat enemies that have projectile attacks, you can spit mm -hmm. them back out. Really? Mm -hmm. Some enemies are good to eat, because their projectiles are actually pretty damaging. Others, like that one we just ate, which has the trail of red red shots that don't move, yeah. are worthless, because you spit them out and they just hang there. See, I just ate that thing, and now I'm spitting out its purple things. Interesting. Now, the thing is, you only get a, number, a certain number of shots from each enemy you eat, and um... You spit them out in the order, the reverse order that you ate them. So the last one you ate is the first one you shoot out, 